friends i am dr amdekar and in this video i am going to recapitulate what my colleagues discussed in the last five videos this is the first set of a clinical analysis of physical examination in this set we are trying to again make a strong plea that many simple things are overlooked and therefore we started in a right earnest by dr rajesh chokane who emphasized that the observation is the most important part of the beginning of clinical examination friends it's not only inspection it's an observation which means you see but often not observe because you do not think you do not interpret what you are seeing and he told us how observation can be the beginning point as you see the patient as he walks into your office the way he says the way he talks you can start looking at him and you know straight off whether you are dealing with something serious or something not so sick once you observe that you observe further and you are amazed to know that the general examination can be almost totally based on mere observation even without touching a patient of course for taking a pulse rate you need to really put your finger on the pulse but observation has such a power that you can make out in every system what is the probable site of disease and even a probable cause of disease friends neurological examination is largely observation and so also every other system and imagine you see somebody with a distended abdomen by looking at the abdomen alone you can almost make a clue to what kind of disease what kind of site of disease and the pathology of disease you are likely to be dealing with observation can almost give you the origin duration progress looking at the patient whether he is acutely sick or chronically sick or he has an acute or chronic sickness friends don't miss the ability of observation the skills of observation and make a habit we want us to pick up a almost a observation skill like a sherlock holmes who could merely observe and give many details of that person's profile having discussed in this video in the next video uh, dr mahesh mohite explained how important is a structured physical examination and he emphasized that a physical examination should first make out whether you have enough time to get into all the details or you have to act immediately because there is something underlying serious disease once you know that you have time to discuss what the disease could be he gave an idea how a general examination head to toe as well as a systemic examination should be structured so that you don't miss out anything he emphasized that in many newborns you often miss something which is staring at you but you don't look at it like a cleft palate for example like a sacrococcygeal area where there is some clue to a spinal defect or an undescended testis for that matter or even a hip dysplasia and such patients come to us much later when the diagnosis is not only missed but makes it complicated and sometimes we cannot even achieve achieve the same outcome he emphasized therefore an importance of a structured examination and he gave a lot of examples how structured examination uh, makes us not miss something for example when you start looking at a pulse make a habit of also putting your finger on one of the peripheral pulses in the lower limbs that's the only way you will not miss up miss a coarctation of aorta or for that matter any other disease like a takayasu etc how simple these maneuvers are but we must make a habit of looking at all such thing and again he made a very clear point that make an attempt for a structured very methodical examination 
this is very important when somebody is sick. This is very important when you don't have a clue to a probable diagnosis. And unless you go through the entire systematic structured approach, you are likely to miss something. Having discussed this in the very next video, Dr. Tushar Maniar discussed the importance of growth monitoring. Friends, growth monitoring is not only for the children during growing period, but even thereafter. Of course, during growing period, if you pick up a faltering weight or a faltering length or height, or for that matter, a head circumference, you are able to pick up the probable cause behind such problem and also take a corrective action a timely intervention. It is not rare for me to see an 8 and 10 year old brought for a short stature and nobody has taken his height or nobody has monitored sequentially, periodically his height and you have missed a chronic renal dysfunction or you have missed a hypothyroid. You could have found out easily if you are monitoring a growth. It's so important. And I think he also emphasized therefore that it's not only the monitoring during growing period, of course it is. But if you look at the middle-aged adult, then after the growth is complete, adults keep on gaining weight about a kilo or so every year and some of us become obese by age of 30 or 40. Once you develop obesity, you have no chance of improving. However good advice, it's very difficult to follow. And therefore, friends, the monitoring of growth is like a progress card of health. And when you go up to a very old age, a senior citizen who has lost a kilo or two unaccounted without any symptoms is likely to have a hidden disorder like a malignancy coming. And it's only when you can diagnose early and therefore Dr. Manyar emphasized the importance of growth monitoring not only through growing period but throughout life. Having discussed this important issue, Dr. Joshi talked about the nutritional assessment. Friends, we all know that today our country has a dual burden of nutritional problem. Almost 40-50% of our children in particular and even adults are likely to be malnourished, short, wasted. Everything starts very early in childhood. But another 30% are overweight and obese. That means only 20% of our population is normally nourished. Either you are undernourished or overnourished. It's possible only if you look carefully at the nutrition to begin with. And nutrition has a lot of importance in terms of your general health, in terms of developing immunity, in terms of preventing diseases and so on. And Dr. Joshi emphasized on the importance of micronutrient. And micronutrient deficiencies is seen today in almost all age groups, all socioeconomic groups. Entire population is likely to be micro deficient and in particularly iron B12 folate deficiency or vitamin D deficiency. Of course, all other deficiencies also exist, but they possibly are not easy to make out and are not so important in contribution. But vitamin D and uh, hematinics that are required are often deficient. Friends, these are preventable ones. They are preventable by either a good advice or sometimes by the sim simple daily replacement. And this is an important part that we often miss. Having discussed such common things, finally in the last video, Dr. Sridhar Ganpati talked about something that we often see, something that the parents often report, but we are foxed in terms of finding the possible cause, and that is mouth ulcers. Friends, mouth ulcers could be due to local causes as well, but could be a manifestation of infection. Sometimes a serious infection like HIV or like a fungal infection of an immunocompromised patient. Mouth ulcers are also seen in a collision vascular disorders like a SLE or even a idiopathic juvenile arthritis and so on and so forth. And finally, Mouth ulcers could also be 
responsible for leukemia or granulocytosis. Friends, these are so easy to make out but are often just neglected and you just prescribe some vitamin, maybe B complex, but go to the root cause of mouth ulcers. In this set of student videos, therefore, friends, we have started the discussion on clinical analysis of physical examination and in the next set of 6-7 videos, we will start with analysis of basics and following this video, Dr. Mahesh Mohite will talk how important is the pulse examination. You have seen earlier generation of Ayurvedic physicians who were supposed to diagnose many conditions on merely pulse examination. Where we have ignored this ability to get information out of pulse and Dr. Mohite will talk about it. Thank you very much.